so we're off we did it so we're out we're out of the dock and uh, I mean there's some things wrong with this boat like that shaft wiggles a little bit and uh, and those bolts are kind of loose but I'm just gonna take it easy on her and keep her around four knots and you know I can sail we're gonna go up to a around Annapolis sail around and practice sailing but the you know we have to go up the C&D canal for about two or three two hours to get up to where you can start sailing because you can't push sails out, out there on the C&D. But she seems to be running. I've been, you know, we, she's running pretty good. And everything's working out pretty good. So it took like maybe two hours this morning to get everything in organized to, to take off. We got all the decks cleaned off and everything put away. And uh, there is one issue. The the strut where the strut goes up through the hole and bolts it leak it's leaking it's getting worse so when I first got here it was maybe the the bilge pump would turn on maybe twice it twice in a 24-hour period now it's turning on like every 30 minutes and kicking out probably four three three gallons of, of water so you can see it it's like a little stream going on down there but It'll be all right. As long as I got electricity, it'll be all right. So I got a, the, the generator works, the motor's running. So, and then I have another generator and a 30 amp uh, portable battery charger. So th all three things would have to go bad so the motor to not have electricity. And we're close to Marina, so it leaks a little bit. So when we get back, at some point in the next month or so, I'm gonna have to pull out and I'm gonna have to fix all that and fix that shaft so that's what's going on that's what's going on and the steering wheel seems to be working a little better so it's loosen it's loosening it up i think if you just added wd-40 on it and used it every day it probably loosened up really good and we're in the channel channel's about 40 feet so stay away from the side and then the dinghy i don't know you guys watched the dinghy where i hit the bottom something's wrong with the dinghy we didn't bring the dinghy i think when i hit that rock it it uh did something to the lower unit so it either bent the shaft the prop shaft or it broke something so that's got to get rebuilt i'm pretty sure it's going to cost like 1300 bucks to excuse me to fix it so we see anything cool definitely turn the video on so the first cool place is chesapeake city and that bar right there everybody ties their boats up all together fills that whole place and they all hang out and drink like they do in the ozarks when they tie all their boats together and there's some pretty good restaurants up in there you know and it's like three or four more miles and we'll get, we get to the exit part of the CND to where you can put your sails up but you really can't put your sails up because it's you'd have to tack up that little channel and it's just you I, you just have to wait and it takes a minute to get out to the Chesapeake we're almost out into the big part of the Chesapeake and I don't know, you're, the wind's like eight, nine, ten knots, and we go maybe five, four or five miles an hour. But we got the Genoa out, we got the Genoa out. Man, I did it. Now all I gotta do is get out of that marina and get, this, get that shaft fixed, and then get the hell out of here and get down to Florida. The, the world's the our oyster so I guess I don't know just gonna keep pushing along trugging along trugging all right so we got like 15 mile an hour winds 
going, if you go, go that way, if you look that way, look that way. That's going up into the Chesapeake. The wind's coming from there, and it's making a current to where I'm trying to go that way. So I'm gonna have to attack back and forth like that. And uh, so that's just a learning experience. Because uh, when we came down the first time this way, we were going with the current and the wind was behind us and we were flying at 15 miles at 15 mile an hour wind. And now we're only doing like two knots, three knots. So get out here and learn and figure this stuff out. I had sailed all day long and it was about midnight and my wife woke up to water on the kitchen floor. I was healed over pretty good. I wasn't paying attention to the bilges. I was trying to point to the wind to make my anchorage for the night. The wind was 20 knots. I had all my sails out. I was flying. The sails were bright from the contrast of the night moon. The waves from the pressure of a 70,000 pound vessel glistened with every gust of wind. The salty air soothed my breath. I was in the zone. Shelly said, come look at the water down below. I was swept back to reality. As in slow motion, the first thing I did was check to see if the bilges was on. It was. Stay calm, I said. So I lifted it up, and what did I find? Paper towels stuck in the impala. So I went above, furled the sails, and started motoring. I checked to see if the water was going down. It was water relief. By the time I made it to my anchorage, the water was gone. I didn't sleep good, but I didn't want to go back to the marina. I'm ready. The Bay Shore Bridge was right in front of me like a passage of life. Just go under and go, but the boat needs a couple more months of work. It's hurricane season anyway, and Florida is my destination. So here I sit, standing away on the hard, telling you my story. So there was drama last night. We were, it was probably like, I don't know, about midnight. And Shelly had gone to bed and the wind was like 15 to 20 because it picked up the windy current. So I was flying. And then she goes, Brian, Brian, there's water on the floor in the kitchen because we were healed over. So I'm like, what? And let's go downstairs. I'll show you what happened, man. The bilge is filled up with a lot of water it was it, it was a, it was bad I knew it was leaking I knew it was leaking when we put the boat in a long time ago it was just leaking a little bit not very much at all it, the the bilge pump would turn on maybe once or twice in a 24-hour period right before we took off yesterday I noticed the bilge pump kicking on every five, 10 minutes, five minutes. I'm like, what the hell? So I went in here, went back here and seen it leaking really bad. I'm like, well, eh, I have a generator and I have a portable generator. And as long as we have electricity, everything will be fine. We'll just go out and sail, bring it back. Cause I'm getting ready to pull it out. First thing I thought, well, maybe I've ran the batteries down on the motor. And, and so let's see if we can get the motor to start. And maybe that bilge will start working because the motor's running. Well, then we got the sails in, got the motor running, and then Shelly started steering the boat. And I came down here and I put my hand down in where the bilge was. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and sure enough, big old wad of damn paper towel stuck up in the impeller. I pulled it out and it took like, I don't know. It, at first, I wasn't sure that was the issue, but after about 20 or 30 minutes so it it struck it dropped it took like 30 minutes for it to uh pump the water out and then the water was out we anchored and uh man in the back of my mind i said oh my god i might have to call the coast guard to come tow us out and you know earlier in the video i was talking about we're going to buy this trash pump which one should we get and shelly's going we should have bought that trash pump I'm like, God dang it. And I've been watching Zangaro. Same thing happened to him. Something like that. 
And I was like, buy a trash pump on the comments. And here I am, no damn trash pump.